So what are we going to do about this pesky little bugger here? We've got this gap. So the way that we typically think about gaps is we use what's called an affine scoring system. And so what that means is that we get two different penalties for a gap. We get one penalty for gap opening, and we get a different penalty for gap extension. And let me explain why. Remember, remember when we started talking about words, I said if we had a situation where we have lots of independent insertions, then it's more, it's harder to go from one sequence to another if we have lots of independent insertions versus if we have one big insertion. Yeah? In this case, we have to make a change here, a change here, and a change here. So we've got three events. In this case, we just delete these three things, and so we've got one event. And so the general expectation is that we're, if we're going to have gaps, we're going to have several gaps closer to each other than we are interspersed like this. So by introducing two different penalties, we can say every time you want to insert a gap, there's a big penalty. Maybe we'll make that penalty minus 10. But then once you've inserted a gap, inserting the next gap is only going to give you a penalty of minus 2, or minus 3, or minus 1. So if we were to score these two alignments, and let's say we just have A to A gets a score of 1, The first alignment here, we would get a score of plus 1. Then we would get a score of 12, minus 12, minus 10 to open the gap, and minus 2 for the first insertion we made. And then we get a score of plus 1. And then we get a score of minus 12, plus 1, minus 12, plus 1. And so our overall score here is going to be minus 32, right? So 3, uh, three minus 12, so minus 36 and four pluses, minus 32. On the other hand, over here, we're going to get a score of minus 10 to open our gap, and then we're going to get a score of minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So now our score here is minus 16. And then we've got our four plus ones, and so our overall score here is minus 12. So we've got a raw score of 56, but we've got one gap here. And if we use a minus 10, minus 2 penalty, then our final score would be 44. Um, and this is what's called the raw score.